Hello, BBE family. Happy Thursday. Today is Um, this morning I, uh, went live in our coaching membership and did a little coaching training about standing out from a saturated market. Um, and then right after that, I jumped into our academy, which is our course group. Um, and I did live Q and A in there. And so, um, I just wanted to pop in here, um, just for a little while and answer a question, um, that we get a lot in this group and even in our course groups. And so I wanted to kind of mention it and also, by the way, the reason why you see all this is we we are uh, on our way to a last minute trip to Orange Beach. Um, we just recently purchased a condo there. Um, and so shout out if you're looking for a condo in Orange Beach, come stay at ours. Uh, and we're bringing some last minute things before our first runner arrives on Sunday. Um, so this is why we're going to do our live in the car. Um, and we're almost there, which is why I want to go ahead and jump in here and answer this one question, kind of get y'all on the right track with this. Um, we're going to talk about what is your next lens purchase and why? So what lens do you need and why? I'm going to go over that in just a second. Um, before I do, if you haven't already, make sure you, um, watch our free beginner class. So if you are brand new to this group or you haven't watched our free beginner class, you need to. It's got so much. It's jam packed with knowledge. You're going to need a notebook. You're going to need your pens. You're going to need your camera. Um, I talk about the five essential things you need to start your photography business, your brand new photography business. I teach you my three step system to manual mode, how to get professional worthy images. And I teach you the one type of light you need to shoot in. So if you haven't already, make sure you jump into that course. I'll put the link around this video once I'm done. Um, and hop into that. It's totally free. It's about 45 minutes long. Um, so make sure you carve out some time where you're not around kids or anything like that or at work. Um, to watch it because it's literally jam-packed. You're going to need your notebook and pens. Um, okay, so if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay, if you're watching live, say hello, introduce yourself, tell us where you're from, and if you have any questions, just put them in the comments and then I'll answer them after um, the video is done. Okay, so the question typically goes like this. I have the 50 millimeter, um, but what lens do I need next? And then after that, there's like 400 comments of, of everybody saying what lens they need. And then ultimately that person just gets majorly confused. So my whole life mission is to simplify the complex. And so this is what this lesson is about. It's basically what lens you need next. And it all depends on what you're shooting. Okay. So if you have a crop frame camera, a 50 millimeter lens, what lens do I need next? What do, what am I looking for? Here's what you need to ask yourself. And this is what I, I literally told my best friend, Jessica, she's getting into photography too. And she's like, what lens do I need now? She has the 50. What lens do I need? What and my birthday's coming up? What lens do I need? And I asked her, what do you want to shoot? If you're wanting to shoot landscapes, traveling, um, you know, if you have a vlog or if you, um, are just like a lifestyle mom photographer who you shoot everything, then I highly suggest getting a zoom lens, which is a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. What does that mean? That means you have the width of a 24 millimeter. So you have the width, you could shoot like a long wide, wide landscape and every millimeter up to 70 millimeters, which is more of like a zoom up close lens. Okay. If you are shooting newborns and you're going to be in a close confined area, you're going to be inside, you're going to be, um, you know, shooting a little baby in a small area, you're going to need a wide angle lens. But you'll probably need a prime lens, which is this one millimeter. It's a 35 millimeter. 
that I highly suggest you get a 50 millimeter, which is a very, very, it's one of the most versatile lens. It's something that I teach in that free beginner class. It's the first lens that I recommend every single one of you getting. It's the first prime lens. I, I definitely recommend you getting the 50 millimeter 1.8 because it's the most versatile lens. You can shoot basically anything with this lens, a 50 millimeter lens. You can shoot families, you can shoot kiddos, you can bring it, I bring it to, on vacation and traveling. Um, you can shoot seniors, you can shoot portraits. It's a very versatile lens. Now, if you're wanting to focus on portrait photography, meaning seniors, couples, brides, um, headshots, then I highly recommend you getting an 85 millimeter lens. This is a longer lens and longer lenses create leaner looks. I call it my skinny lens. I always bring it out to my bridal sessions, my um, engagement sessions. Um, I bring it on wedding days and I tell all the bridesmaids, y'all got my skinny lens on, I'm on, y'all gonna look so good because it really just like leans everyone out because it's a longer lens. Contrary to the 35 mil, so you need a wider angle. 35 millimeter lenses can widen you, can look wider, which I don't suggest using a 35 millimeter for portraits. Okay. If you are um, wanting to get into um, sports photography, wedding photography, or um, like National Geographic type things where you can't get too close to the animals, I highly suggest you get a 70 to 200 lens. That's a mega zoom lens. It's got the most beautiful compression, like the beautiful creamy dreaminess that it, it, it provides. Um, and it, it allows you to be pretty, pretty far. So sports, weddings, um, I don't, I feel like I'm missing a word, like not lands, like not landscape, but wildlife, maybe wildlife, I guess I'm thinking of, um, that would be a 7200. Now warning. I had a 70 to 200 lens and hated it because it's really heavy. And so if you're a wimp, people swear by it. A lot of people love it. A lot of men love it. And so I'm just going to put that out there. If you're a wimp like me, you might not like it. Um, so if you're like in the market of like, I'm itching to get a new lens. I really want a new lens. You really just need to ask yourself the question, what am I shooting? What do I really need? Don't waste your money on just getting a full arsenal of lens lenses that you don't actually need for what you're shooting, if that makes sense. Okay. If you're wanting to go into weddings, I highly suggest you get a macro lens. This is how you're going to get those pretty bridal details, those ring shots. Um, it's great for portraits. It's great for ceremonies. Um, so definitely look into getting a macro lens, like a 100 millimeter or 105 millimeter 2.8. Um, those are really fun to play with. Um, so if you have any questions about lenses, what lenses do I need for such and such? Um, don't hesitate to comment on this video. I'm going to be checking um, on it for the rest of the day, rest of the week, just kind of see if there's any questions about lenses. Um, and then one final note, if you're looking into real estate photography, which I'm going to be doing some real estate shooting this weekend, I'm going to be shooting our condo for the listing, um, then you really need the widest lens that you have. You cannot shoot a real estate listing with a 50 millimeter. You're going to need like your 24 millimeter, 24 to 70 and get the 24 millimeter. Um, I literally like we got in the car and we we're about to pull out and like, wait, <laughs> I need to go get, I had my 35. I was like, wait, I need to go get my 24 to 70 so I can get those like wide looking shots to make it kind of look, get the full, full room and it looks a little bit bigger. So that's another pro tip. But anyways, if you have any questions about lenses, what lenses to get next, comment below on this video. Um, I'll be in here answering them throughout the week. Um, and if you haven't watched the free beginner class, click the link around this video too and hop into that. ASAP.
like today. So that is all for today, you guys. I love you guys. I'll be back in here next Thursday. Um, and it's not too late if you want to join our coaching, our membership. Um, it's 20 bucks a month and you get weekly coaching from me plus week monthly lessons from me, workbooks and stuff like that. Video training library. You can still get in that today. Um, and if you're wanting to just dive straight in, you can join us in the Academy, which is all of our courses, photography, one-on-one posing business, minis, flash. It's all in there. It's a full photography curriculum. Um, you can get, that, get in that today as well. So love you guys. I'll be in here next week. Um, teaching you. I can't remember the lesson, but I will have it up in here shortly. Um, and in the meantime, y'all get connected. Stay in this group. Um, help each other out. This is the best group on Facebook. And I love you guys. So see y'all next week.